Hello, Klaus here and welcome back to yet a, another video here at the channel. So in today's video we're going to have a look at the new transform tool in DaVinci Resolve 17 so we can do things like putting in a logo in our shot and I will also show you how you can make this look a little more realistic with a few tricks you can use both in the studio version and in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. So if you are new to this channel and want to learn DaVinci Resolve filmmaking tips and tricks and also want to have a look at some pretty cool gear, I would recommend you to subscribe. So let's get on with this video and let's start to put in some logos. Okay, so let's get started using this clip here. Um, first off, let's uh, drag down our logo we have up here. It is just a Duke Denver logo, a PNG file. And we're just going to drag that in and I'll go into the effects as well. And uh, I'm just going to extend my clip here so it will fit. Again, into the effects library and I'll go all the way down here to our transform which is under the, right here under the tr transform. And I'm just going to drag down the transform on this. And um, while that is done, I'll go up to the inspector and, and I'll open that up and I'll um, just go into, make sure that the effects is chosen. Like there, and um, maybe I'll size this down just a little bit. So it won't be as large. And uh, I'll go into the effects. And here I have my transform and I can do different things, of course, here. And I will make sure that the effects overlay is chosen, otherwise this won't work. So first off, I'm going to, um, let's see, there's different, there's canvas and pins. I'll just show you pins very quickly. I'm just going to make four marks in the corners, like so. And uh, then I'm just going to align my four corners with the window. And um, then I can position my logo here as I want. So that is the how the pins would work. And I can then adjust that. And that is um, okay and fine. Just take off this thing here so we can see it. But uh, actually, I would, I'm just going to reset this and I'll um, show you how you can do this with canvas instead. And again, I'm making sure that I'm on the OpenFX and I now get this grid thing here. And um, the effect is absolutely the same, but I just have these lines here. So it's a little bit easier for me to align my logo. So let's do like this. And I want it to be a little higher here. And then, you know, I have the window so I can kind of align it a little bit easier this way. So for me, uh, I think for putting in a logo on a window like I'm doing here, I think this is just the uh, easiest way for me. So, okay. So let's uh, have a look at the clip here. Uh, now the logo is in or on, but um, it is very visible and the way you can cheat a bit, we can use the, uh, in the composite, use the blend mode and just dial it in and make it a little more transparent. So, and you can do this as you like. I think there is pretty good. So let's um, just have a look here and we can now, if we go back here, you can actually see that my reflection is still up here. And that is actually what I want. And that's good. So here we have the first issue when doing this effect, of course, because this will not work unless we do a little bit of a trick here, of course. And there's different ways we could use this. And I'll just, first off, I'll just make a cut here. This is where I am actually overlapping my PNG file. Um, and then I'm just going to push in, I'm going to take off the link and I'm going to push Alt and I'm just going to drag and I do a copy of it. And then I'm just going to change the clip color so it's easier for me in the color tab because now there is some options here. 
Of course, we could use a mask and I'll show you that in just a bit, how to do that. If you're in the studio version, you could use the magic mask. Uh, and for this clip, we'll just do this very quickly. So first off, we could change features, but uh, I don't have a feature here that actually fits uh, what I'm doing here. So I'm just going to make magic mask track me as a person. Uh, I think that is the easiest thing to do here. So first off, let's just uh, see where we have some problems or if we have some problems. So it's just a very short clip we have to track. So first off, I'm just going to put in a line here. And I think that looks okay. I mean, the lines and the borders are not 100%, but you could change that if you weren't happy with it. So first off, let's track this clip here. And there my line went out of the frame. So I'll have to either change that. Or I'll just do a, another stroke and I'm going to select that stroke I did. And I'm just going to go forward again. And um, again, my line went out of the frame. So I have to do the same thing one more time, like so. And again, my f tracking went off. So I have to do another one, I think. So let's uh, just do another one. And I'm just going to track that forward as well. So done. The track is now done, simply. So how to make this work? Actually, that is the super easy part of this. I think the tracking and stuff like that is okay for this clip. We, again, we could change things if we wanted to, for, but for the sake of this tutorial, I am not going to do anything of that sort. Okay, so let's start to use this. We're going to right click up at the grid. We're going to add in an alpha out and I'm going to drag a, this to the blue so that's connected and I'll go back to the edit tab. And now you can see I haven't done an alpha. And I'm just going to put this on top of my clip. And uh, basically this is what we have. Okay, and that is uh, what we have. So let me just uh, quickly show you the other method. I'm going again to duplicate this clip by pushing Alt and drag. I'll change the clip color to something else. Let's say yellow. Nah, let's change it to green or teal. We'll use teal. And I'm just going to go up here and I'm just going to reset my grade and note. And I'll just show you how to do this little clip here with a mask. And that is actually um, a very fast technique. So instead of actually making a mask that would um, mask out the whole me, we're going to cheat a little bit. And uh, we'll go in here. I'll go in and I'll draw a mask. And um, I'm just going to make a mask on a portion that actually are walking past here. It might not be the right size yet, but we are going to change that in a second. So first off, we're just going to track this thing. And here it, um, we went out of frame and we just need to do some small corrections here. So I'll just go a little bit back before that. And I'm going to change this to frame and I'm going to do a keyframe. Then I'll go to the next here, and I'm just going to do some small corrections here. Very fast. Something like that. And then I'll just go a little bit forward and I'm just going to drag out this out of frame. So that is uh, basically that. And we're going to put again this up here. And there's a little bit of a problem with the mask. And of course you remember to actually put in the alpha outline as I did, as you see right here. Okay, um, we are just going to change some small things in the mask, which we can do pretty quickly. I'll make it larger. And again, I'm, I'm, I'm just going through this very fast in the tracker. So here I have a little bit of an issue. I'm just going to make that a bit larger. There we are. 
And there we have a problem as well. We're just going to correct that. And remember, I can change all of these things because I am doing this on the frame option. So here we have that effect. Anyway, I do hope you found this little video useful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, give the video a like, share it with your friends if you think it will help them out. And if you want to be notified every time there's a new video on this channel, please hit that bell icon down in the corner. Until next time, keep filming, keep learning and keep sharing.